Hey guys, so last weekend Nicole and I we went to the cinema and we watched Top Gun Maverick which is an incredible movie, super super cool, highly recommended. So afterwards we're walking to the car and Nicole says to me man some people just have such a cool life don't they? Referring to those fighter jet pilots. And I'm thinking yeah of course it's the typical hero's journey right and it's basically where this is a process that happens in all the movies and the books and that's what makes them so appealing. It's where the hero, the main character, starts off living a normal life and then a big challenge comes up. He or she rises up to the occasion to tackle that challenge, to overcome it and then afterwards is celebrated, is applauded, is the hero and, and is better for it because of that challenge. He has grown or she has grown and evolved, right? And so it's the same with our life. Our life is a whole hero's journey, you know? We are here with certain challenges. And just like in the movie, Tom Cruise wouldn't be the hero maverick if he had let fear paralyze himself. If that challenge arises and he's like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm scared. No, of course not, right? So same thing with us, right? Fear stops us playing the game of life. Fear stops us trying new things, whether it's recording videos or public speaking or asking someone out on a date or applying for a new job. It's just not fun. And so fear is actually, in my opinion, an illusion that acts as an invitation to choose and step into courage and love. And what I believe the world needs is a love revolution. In fact, love, the word, is written in the word revolution, just flipped right? We need a love revolution. We need to go back to love because as souls, as children, as babies, we are just pure love. And then gradually life shapes us through fear, depending on our upbringing, but especially also because of media and things like that, because fear sells, right? And so we need to revolve and go back to love instead of going into that negative spiral where we get dragged and sucked into fear, into anxiety, into depression. So I invite you to ask yourself, in what part of my life am I choosing fear and staying in that fear? I'm letting that fear dictate my life rather than choosing love and living a more expanded life. And so the thing that kind of triggered me this morning, and that's the reason why I decided to make this video, is because we were supposed to have lunch with two family members that are visiting us for a week and they weren't staying here so we only I only saw them once and today was going to be the second time but five days ago one of them got COVID and very mild symptoms no big issues just a bit tired more than usual and then today she tested positive again so she still wasn't recovered fully but she cancelled the lunch because she was afraid that she would infect our daughter Ayana who's two years old and that was just such an example of letting fear dictate your life because if you really look at the stats you know that it's the elderly and the people that have chronic illnesses those are the ones at risk of, of catching a virus not the little ones right i i seen statistic that even said that they're more likely to get hit by lightning than catch covid and yet here we are not having a nice lunch in palma because of fear and i fully respect her decision you know like we all have our own life experiences and our choices. I love her to bits. I just found it a pity that fear had to be that determining factor for whether or not we would spend quality time with the family. So that's my invitation. Just ask yourself, you know, in my choosing fear, when could I actually choose to step into courage and love instead? All right, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.